Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon on a grey yet slightly spring-like early March or mid-March 2024 day. We're out here doing some videos on our plethora of recently arrived stock. Really, really busy, lots of things coming and going. And uh, most of the vans out here we've got second hand. We've sold at least one time before, and that's the case with this one. So uh, this is a 2012 Eldis Auto Quest 140, and that's an N Lounge, two berth, very, very simple coach built based on the Peugeot Boxer. So it's compact, it's spacious, it's simple, it's easy to use, easy to drive, economical, reliable, easy to park. Yeah, simplicity personified. Two berth, big N Lounge, single beds or a big double, lovely condition, tiny mileage, you won't believe the mileage on this one to come to it. And uh, our Somerset branch sold it to its previous owner, who was quite elderly and has just given up motorhoming so we've bought it back off of him. So I think this is a real good buy for someone, so it's a 2012 Elder Sort Quest 140, it's got the end lounge, so it's simple, two berth, two seat belts, not trying to squeeze in fixed beds or seat belts, it makes it maximum space for two. Based on the super reliable Peugeot Boxer 2.2 turbo diesel HDI, it's the same engine I've got in my camper, it's chain driven, it's a really, really good one. Mileage, no one's put the mileage on the window sheet, they should have, because it's done 14,500 miles from me. That is a tiny, tiny mileage, isn't it? It's really, really good. So it's in, in super condition, it's not new, it's 12 year old, but it's, it's a good one. Uh, length is 6.3 metres, but short wheelbase, you can know well. It's not a full length wheelbase, so you can overhang the back and squeeze her into a parking space with an overhang, nice and easy to park. Body width is 2.2, that's 6 inches or 15 centimetres narrower than most full size coach rigs these days. Oh, it's 2.78, it's low profile, two berth price is 28.995, which for a 2012 van in today's market is really, really good, I think. And that will, of course, come with a, a full MOT major engine service, a habitation service and Highbridge's 12 month in house warranty which covers you for damp and leaks and things like that on any age which all the other dealers aftermarket warranties that they bought in from a warranty provider do not cover. So looking at the cabs, it's all full of co fully colour coded white Peugeot Boxer these drive really well, the van itself is very very light so you'll have a massive payload um, and stupendously good fuel economy uh, I get 34 out of my camper van I'm not saying you'll get that out of this I've got the same running gear but you'll certainly be I reckon depending on how you drive seeing the good side of 30 and I wouldn't say that for many vans anyway very very reliable um, paint works in very good order to be fair the odd little tiny mark if you look closely headlights just starting to go a little bit cloudy but they all do that in fairness to it uh, no problems there Heated, electrically adjustable manual fold wing mirrors. Good tyres all round, of course we always check all of them things anyway. Uh, it's got a Fiamma awning on the outside. There's everything you need on this with nothing that you, you don't need kind of thing. Habitation doors, got an electric step. It's also got a fly screen that we'll see when we go in. We've got Dometic fridge vents for your three-way fridge freezer. Couple of little dink marks here, maybe from an awning winder handle or an awning leg, something like that, but only minor cosmetics. Kitchen window, end lounge window. So it's a big end lounge, makes single beds or a gargantuan double, very, very easy. Coming around here, we've got a gas barbecue point, that's a bonus. So yeah, gas barbecue point, handy if you've got a gas barbecue, saves you taking a gas bottle out of your gas locker to power your barbecue. There's a gas locker there, which will take two, six or seven kilo Cala gas bottles. Coming around the back, not a bonus, we've got a, a good quality double reversing camera. So in that camera unit up there, there's two cameras, one that looks down so you can see when you're reversing, one that looks further back so you can have it permanently live for when you're driving, and they feed into a mirror mounted good quality camera monitor. Uh, it's got the bike rack on the back of it. Now the bike rack's being used to put a back storage box on it at the minute. That can be removed. You can put it back to being a bike rack or you can swap them around depending on what you do or don't want to carry with you at the time. These are expensive. These are like £400 plus for what is ostensibly a, a plastic box. So maybe more if it's the biggest one. I'm not sure what size that is. But yeah, pricey thing. So if you're not ever going to use it, take it off. You'll get a couple hundred quid for that on eBay or wherever. Flew for your Truma heating system, um, for your Truma water heater even. So there's gas and mains electric powered heat, heat, heating and hot water. The hot water goes off of that system. These two little exhausts down here are for the whale blown air gas or mains electric powered 
uh, space heater basically so it's not got a fireplace like the older ones have which rattle and take up room and smell of dust whenever you start them up this is modern it's blown air heating the actual units bolted under the floor and it'll run off mains electric if you're hooked up and gas if you're not another lounge window main hook up so you've got main hook up and leisure battery in there you just run your cable through a little access bit there open it up to plug it in fresh water fill up point there's underslung fresh and waste water tanks fresh water drain there it's there wastewater drain tap is there for draining down nice and easy it's got an external tv point that was standard from the factory so if you're on a site with its own sort of tv booster because it's in a poor signal area then you can just plug up to that but it does have a roof mounted aerial as well uh, graphics are going a little bit faded which is natural it's just where people wash them with chemicals or whatever they're going to decolor slightly and sun gets to them but they look presentable to be fair but there's plenty of graphics companies out there who can replace them with your choice of custom graphics if you want so the bathrooms there you've got a cassette toilet dump point uh, it's had front mud flats fitted at some stage uh, cab specification wise this curtains go around the front for darkening if you want to add expensive rattly cab blinds you can but personally i wouldn't bother Swivel passenger seat, so that's an addition, that wasn't standard. That's your high level reversing camera monitor. And you got, what else have we got? Um, oh, that's not Bluetooth. No, is it a Bluetooth? No, not a Bluetooth DAB stereo. So I had the exact same stereo unit in mine. I replaced it with an aftermarket one with Apple CarPlay and Bluetooth, stuff like that. We can do that for you if you want to. So very, very easy to, uh, to modernize it. Central locking, rear fog lights, heated wing mirrors. So again, simple less to go wrong nice and reliable tried and tested so it's the euro 5 cab so that gains the more modern all black dashboard that came out for the first time in 2012 and it's a 2.2 six speed manual 115 horsepower which uh, is plenty actually it's what i've got in my camper i was going to get mine remapped but they don't need it so i'm not going to bother to be fair they're good on fuel and drive really well as they are fly screen door comes across there You've got a grab handle on both sides to help you enter and exit. So you can come in, swivel your passenger seat if you wish. Big freestanding table there, you can put inside or outside. Decent bit of storage over the cab, you could roll up some bedding, get in, it, get in up there. And you'll find an incredibly comfortable English traditional style coach built van now it's got light wood which is good it's not overly ginger there is a tiny bit of lift in there which will just stick down again but that's that's about the only thing i could find inside and that's tiny remember this is 12 year old but it's only done 15 000 miles it's in really nice condition so kitchen is excellent so we've got oh how do i turn that strip light on oh no and there's a strip it's a strip light up there but i don't know oh, there we go there's a strip light for the kitchen so yeah kitchen with three gas burners uh, a full oven with a separate grill under counter three-way fridge freezer with a full width freezer so that'll run off gas if you're not hooked up electric if you are hooked up uh, and off your engine auto alternator when you're driving but things like this there's barely any scratches on that glass worktop that's so rare it's still got its original clip on draining board and its original sink cover even the sinks not too tarnished which they all work like that quite quickly this one isn't yeah, it's really fresh. The other thing that happens to all of these is this rubber thing around there perishes and goes all horrible, but this one hasn't. It's got a couple of little nicks out of it, but again, very, very fresh condition, which is really nice. I like individual drawers, me, and this has got plenty of them for your kitchen space there. Opposite there, you've got a massive wardrobe. Now, in the past, you'd have a gas fireplace there, which are fine, nothing wrong with them. They work well for heating, um, but they take up space and they rattle. So this, because they went for the under van blown air heating, you've gained all this storage space, not just for clothes, but for anything. It's also left some really nice silver screens in there. So they're uh, silver insulating screens for uh, round, the, uh, round the cab windscreen, both for darkening if you want to use them for darkening or to stop condensation. TV aerial booster point, so it's had an upgrade TV aerial. The standard TV aerial they fitted in 2012 was a little Avtex one and they weren't very good. So this has had a much better one fitted, which I like, and then a full length hanging row up above. Bathroom, because of the width, it's just a wet room bathroom, but it's fine, it's all you need, isn't it? Why compromise space and floor space here by making the bathroom wider? 
So you've got a shower screen that comes across to cut the bathroom in two to turn that into a shower area and then this is all waterproof sort of thing so uh, no shower curtain. There's your Tetris set toilet there, you've got a little mirror, good sized storage cupboard and a pull out sink. So when you need the sink it's there and when you don't need the sink it goes away again. But the real reason you buy this fan is for this. Simple, big side sofas. Very comfortable, cloth seats, no horrible vinyl, in really nice condition. Um, now this was optional back in the day, this chest of drawers. I was really sort of pleased and surprised to see that. Um, so I was trying to remember because I used to uh, work on the eldest stand at the shows. I, to, I did the 2012 uh, stand uh, at the NEC for Eldis, that'll pull out. It's like a caravan chest of drawers. There we go. That pulls out. That flips down. Pull that out a little bit more, and Shazam. Therefore, you don't, if it's two of you, really need to use your freestanding table. But if you want to get your freestanding table out from behind the driver's seat, you can just put it there. Um, but yeah, that's a really good thing. Flip that back over again. And then you've got storage drawers beneath it as well. Now because that was an option, if you went for it, you still got the uh, centre cushion because this is removable. This you can literally just pick that, take it out, and turn it into the full U shape if you prefer. And a lot of that, if you prefer, will be whether you're turning it into a double or singles. So there's slats underneath of there that will pull out to here, and then you can just um, remove your backrest. Ah, there we go. That says something. So this has obviously been there from new. Uh, not been there from new even someone's got that retrospectively because the backrests are all one piece so oh dear is that split no this is all one piece so yeah that's been an aftermarket addition so as it is it's just single beds no double option unless you wanted to um, pull out the slats and have an extra couple of cushions made because originally that wouldn't have been there and then these just flop into the middle basically or you pull those out to turn it into a huge double bed now as it is if you wanted to keep the chest of drawers your option for your double bed would be uh, have an extra couple of infill cushions made which you would of course have to carry with you put them in there and then either still sleep lengthways with the middle infilled or sleep transverse but personally if I was using it as a double I'd take the chest of drawers out put that cushion back in and then you can use this whole area as a double basically but at least you've got options either way so it's quite rare to quite rare to see that plenty of high level storage cupboards all the way around again all in lovely condition it's really really nice this fan big opening skylight up above led lighting all the way around and then your tv point is here with controls for your heating and your hot water and some plug sockets so yeah literally everything you could need nothing you couldn't need i think it's a really nice fan i think for 28.95 it's a real good buy for someone either changing from a caravan or from an older van or a first time buyer or whatever so give us a call 01626832792 if we're busy doing videos call the mobile 07432662558 check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website come and see us at team grace newton abbott devon between exeter and plymouth on the south devon expressway the a38m and ask us about this beautiful 2012 eldest Orquest 140 at only 28.95 thank you very much goodbye